All right. Did you ever run that story, that thing from that fan day? Okay, appreciate you. Yeah, that was great. Thank you so much. Yep. Okay, you want to start with some? Yeah, other stuff? starting uh, a couple things. Number one, um, uh, good second half for us on Monday. Uh, first half, it took us a little bit to kind of. Uh, <clears throat> get going. I didn't think we played the right way or shared the ball as, as well as we had been all summer and fall. Um, so uh, maybe that was just, you know, under the lights or whatever it may be. But a uh, good thing is we course corrected that the second half. Uh, played Georgia State on Saturday night and uh, a very good Georgia State team, very well coached by Coach uh, Hayes. And uh, they got a great staff. Um, and uh, I think Coach Hayes is undefeated as a head coach. I think he's, you know, yeah, he's when all the, he won the NIT games with three or four there, three, uh, three of them. Um, wasn't it four? Because there's 32 teams in the NIT. So I think he's five and oh. Don't know. But anyways, he's undefeated as a head coach. So, so that's pretty cool. Um, and 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 that's uh, it's a great job by Coach Hayes on that. Um, we're playing at their arena to open up their arena. Uh, this game was done because of, you know, back in the day for budgetary reasons for, you know, based on the COVID situation. And we want to do our part to, to help with the, with the athletic department. Um, obviously, it's a, it's a really tough game. And most people are asking me, I've had more people text me like, why are you playing this game at Georgia State? I says, well, it was a, it was a COVID deal. And, and it was something we did to help the athletic department um, on, on budget uh, during that time period. So, and, um, um, and, and on top of that, it's a great thing for USG system. So um, Dr. Purdue, isn't he the head of the USG? I'm Sonny Purdue, am I right on that? So Dr. Purdue should be happy that uh, there's three teams we're playing this year in the USG system. That was Clayton State, Georgia State, and, um, uh, and Georgia. So, uh, so that's good for, for the USG system. But, but look, we're going to have to play really well. Like I mentioned, Georgia State's a really good basketball team. They play hard. They're well coached. They got a lot of good players, and uh, we know it's going to be a, a great atmosphere there. And um, uh, you know, maybe have a few Georgia Tech fans in the building, but mostly probably be Georgia State. And we'll have to play really well. And it'd be a great, um, awesome afternoon if you know we go Jackets versus Miami on, at 3:30. You know, and. Um, and then if they can win that, and then we come out and have a great win in, in Saturday night would be really cool for Georgia Tech. But both the football and us have tough games on Saturday with Miami at home for football, and then us in the, after, in the evening versus Georgia State. We, we talked to, to a couple of the players about the rivalry. They, they said they enjoy that type of thing, and they'd like to play it in the future. Have there been any talks moving forward between the two schools to continue the playing each other no we, there's been no no discussions or talks I mean I I, I don't foresee the, the game you know happening next season unless you know obviously you know my bosses wanted me to play it but however um, um, you know it, scheduling is as you guys know it's a it's a you know it's not an easy deal because you've got you got the 20 league games you're playing Georgia every year that's so you have 21 you ACC Big Ten Challenge. However, what's going to be interesting is after this year, does the ACC Big Ten Challenge continue because of the TV, you know, network deals of all what happened in the off season, um, you know, and then you've got your your MTEs and so there's there, there's room becomes more of the issue at times and 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 fitting things in. So as of right now, there's been no discussions or talks to continue it after this year. Obviously, you've played them a few times now, but and some new unbelievable coach. games when we've played them. Yeah, and the the games have been wild. Yeah. Um just what are they doing differently? Kind of what do you see from this team versus maybe what they did with the other coach? Well, I mean, there there there's a lot of similarities. I mean, you know, whether it was you know um, Coach Hunter when he was there at Georgia State, and then Coach Lanier and Coach Hayes, all three all three coaches are high level coaches, really really good coaches, and and. Um, uh, and their their teams had all played hard. They've got really good players. So there's a lot of look. Each head coach, whether it's Coach Hunter, Coach Lanier, or Coach Hayes, they're, they're going to have their own style and system. Um, but there's a lot of similarities about how hard their teams play, uh, the way they compete. Uh, they've got, they got good shooters. Um, you know, they're just they're they're, they're Georgia State's a good basketball team, and um, 
we'll have to play really well if we want to have an opportunity to win the game. You often talk to us about you like the guards, a guard run game. Uh, what did you see from your guards in the first game, and uh, you know where do you think they're at right now? Yeah, you know, I mean, we we <clears throat> I loved the fact that you know Davon had seven defensive rebounds and. Um, uh, we did some good things with the guards in, on Monday's game, some things we didn't do so well, and we've got to get that cor you know, corrected and keep working on it in practice. And, um, but I, I really like our team a lot. Like, I'm excited about our group. I think we have good shooters, good, good basketball players. Um, you know, we, can, you know we, we might lack in certain areas that we make up for in others. So I, I'm excited to see how the season continues to progress and how we prevail as we go to as we continue to move forward in the season. I think we'll keep getting better as the season goes forward. <coughs> you guys went small this last game with your starting lineup. Is that is this that your five? Is it gonna be a game to game thing, matchup to matchup, or are you still feeling it out? Yeah. No, uh, uh, Kelly, a few things. One, the star of the team is a team. Two, we have more than five starters. I highly doubt we'll stay the same starting five all year all year long. I just think we'll have different lineups. It'll be uh, fluid. And I've told our guys, we, we have more than five guys that can start. And, um, but the way our group is, we'll have a lot of guys that will play. We'll play nine, possibly 10. And we're going to have a longer <coughs> excuse me, rotation. And, and guys are going to play. When they play in there, they got to just play as hard as possible. If a certain group of five is playing really well, I might leave that group in. But um, um, yeah, I, I don't think we'll just. I think we'll continue to uh, – th there could be different starting groups. And it has nothing to do with the initial starting five that there's a reason they wouldn't start. As we, It would just be that we have more than five starters this year. We have a lot of parity and, um, um, you know, just across the board, a lot of guys just – you know, we have good players that are, that are uh, you know, similar in a sense, and, and you can start different ways however you decide to do it. Let's go <laughs> So to speak a little bit to the <clears throat> the atmosphere that you expect to see, uh, obviously it's a road game, but it's a cross city rival. So just the atmosphere that you expect in that gym on Saturday. Yeah, you know, I mean, look, I, I would it's 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 kind of their part of the deal for us to play this game. We had to open their brand new arena, and even though they kind of played a game, this is their they're looking at this as their tip off to their brand new arena. Um, so uh, yeah, it's it, we. Uh, we expect it to be a hostile environment and, 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 a, and an intense crowd and obviously pro-Georgia State. Um, and, uh, but, you know, it should be a fun game. And, and a game like this should get us ready for a road game in ACC play later on in the season. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, we'll have to play really well and we'll have to play really sound in everything that we do because we, you know, we, the best way to not keep the crowd involved in the entire game is to do, play the right way and um, and hopefully from there the ball goes in and making making the right plays to to try to do the best you can to keep the crowd neutralized as best you can. I guess before the season, a lot of people were wondering, you know, who is going to spell Rodney with some of the minutes. Uh, we got to see Franklin. You know, what was your opinion of, of what you saw from him, and when do you expect to get Mecca back? Yeah, I think Mecca will be should be back for Saturday. Uh, but you know, look, it's it's in our system. It's um, it's hard to sometimes play three post guys uh, in, in, in within the course of the game. That being said, I think Jordan Mecca's improved a lot. He's gotten a lot better. I mean, he he and when he's healthy, he can really help us. But Javon's a good player too now, and um, and he does some great things. And Rodney has gotten a lot better. I mean, he did have a double double, and his continuation of being, you know, that type of guy. We need that for the entire season. Kind of switching gears here for a second. You, you talked about Javon there. He's your only guy who's out of eligibility after this year. You signed Blue yesterday, uh, Blue Kane. Just can you talk about kind of where your approach is going to be? Is it? I assume that's it for this early signing period. And then kind of what, how you look at the roster management piece of this moving ahead too. Well, Kelly, we signed Blue Kane. Really excited about Blue. I think Blue's really good. I think Blue's severely underranked. Uh, nationally, I think he's a really good player. I think he's um, you have to have an appreciation watching him. And I think when he gets here, the you know fans are going to really love Blue, um, and he's going to fit in with what we do. And I'm I'm elated about him and excited about his future here. Um, t 
two is you're right. We we basically have our whole team back now. Obviously, in this day and age, you know, is that going to hold true? Because you know, you've got the portal, you've got NIL. There's a lot of factors involved that weren't there a few years ago that are there now. But if we can keep our our unit together. You know, I mean, we, I'm hoping we have an incredible year this year, but the, the build of it was really you're looking in 23-24 in season where you can have a chance to be, you know, high, high level and really, really good. And, um, and um, so I, I, we are actively recruiting somebody else for the, for the fall period. If we get him, that would be it. If we don't get him, then that will be it. Uh, um, and then we would just then see what happens in the spring as in terms of portal if they're depending on, you know, because if we have our whole team back, there's just really no room for anybody else in the portal. If we don't, then um, um, if a, a guy or two, you know, and I don't want anyone to leave, but if they happen to, then we would then attack that in the portal. Because I do think, Kelly, it is important for our program where we're at um, we've got to get a mix of portal and height, and we still got to develop. And you know, you know, and, and I know, you know, we there, we can have a whole other conversation with NIL um, at a later date. But but right now, for our method and, and and for us to be successful is is still is going to be a development, and you know, we got to develop and get guys better, and that's going to take some time. And and part of that is you got to get some high school kids to do that because they're there with you for a longer period. You got. The three freshmen who are now sophomores, and maybe you could could include Maxwell in the mix too, because he hasn't played that much. But it's obvious that they have talent. Is is the task now for you and the rest of the staff just to make sure that they play the way you're looking for them to play? Playing the right way, Rod, is going to be really important. Playing the right way is going to be really important. And um, and and Rod, happy Veterans Day to you too today. Yep. So uh, uh, happy Veterans Day to you. But uh, and to all the veterans out there, you know, uh, uh, blessings to you all, men and women out there who serve. So I know today's Veterans Day. But uh, yeah, we're going to have to playing the right way is going to be is going to be really really important. I asked this of um, Rodney and, and Kyle, but obviously the slow starts last few years, and and you know how important is it to to not you know, start slow again. Obviously, the first half even of the Clayton State game didn't go like you probably want. Just how important is it to to for them to understand yeah. the gravity, especially being on the road and a and what is sort of lack of better turn a Super Bowl game for Georgia State? Of course. Well, Kelly, I mean, <clears throat> we talked about this you and I in the you know or in the preseason press conference that we've tried to do everything that we can could have prepare for to have a good start. You know, one of the great things about our teams here in my seven, we've always gotten better. That's a great sign. Our teams have always gotten better. Our players have gotten better, and the team has gotten better as the year has gone on. The one area that we haven't been real good at is we haven't started well. And, um, and I know that's a frustration for fans, me, and for everybody else. So I get that. And we've tried. That's why we did the two close scrimmages, you know, to, to try to help with that. Um, so um, we, we're doing everything we can to have a better start. Now, look, I mean, <clears throat> it does no good to be you, you know, to win because you play 11 non-conference games. You can be 11-0, but then you don't. Then you falter in the in the ACC. That doesn't help either. So it's the balance. Our goal is to go 40 and 0, but there's going to be some L's along. I mean, you're going to have some ups and downs along the way. The, it's the balance of being trying to be consistent throughout the course of the season. I think that's the bigger question. Even if you did take an early loss somewhere along the way, which I hope we don't do and win every game this year, but if you do, it's that it's the balance that we're able to recover and win, win, win. And if you have, some, you know, it's it's the balance of it that you're just overall having a good year. So. I recognize it, the importance of having a good start, and uh, I've, our players, under, our young men understand that we just got to go get it done on the floor. Thanks, Coach. Okay, thanks, Moose. Appreciate it. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for being here. Mm -hmm.